Hello, in this video, we'll be tearing down my RTX or rather Aorus RTX 3090 Extreme Water Force Water Block Edition. And why are we doing this? So that I'd be able to show to you guys the PCB or the printed circuit board of this card for those who need it um, for water block installation. Uh, for those so uh, for those people who are curious why we're doing this basically just to prolong the lifespan of the card some people may always or tend to use the card at its thermal limits and by putting a water block on it may improve its lifespan and let's use RTX 30 or rather RTX 2080 as an example uh, it was released back 2018 and most of the time its warranty period is around four years and it's already 2021 and as we know the 2080 card is still good it still performs good great at this time and we're almost the four-year warranty period is almost up what we don't want to happen is after the warranty period the the card dies so while you do with it um, basically it'll become a paperweight right and one way to prolong its lifespan is uh, water cooling it some people may actually debate on whether applying uh, water block onto the GPU improves its lifespan or not but well basically we just want to do it <laughs> and its external uh, appearance first so here's the card top view there you go all right and it's backplate this is actually uh, an RGB so be careful when taking the backplate off it uh, pretty sure there's a wire connecting to that thing and judging by its uh, component layout by looking through the this uh slot here uh, i can pretty much guess it's very similar or practically the same as the rtx 3090 master uh, card and especially in the slots here when removing the screws I i'd like to remove the screws for the die last because we're sure that this these screws here hold the front uh, the front water block as well, right? Good thing about this card, good thing about this card, uh, there's no tampering. Uh, when they release this card, they don't, I don't think they put any uh, tampering sticker, tamper sticker, uh, evidence for tampering. So... Uh, I think they're they really they really did build this card for you know people who'd like to uh, tear it down and take note where you put your screws at you don't want to you don't want to mix match the screws so make sure they're So now we're about to remove these four screws here. What you want to do is uh, when you remove them, put some support underneath so that the water block wouldn't uh, simply fall down, right? Here's another idea. That's the way to do it. So I, I put it on top of something. so. It's suspended right now. There you have it. So after reviewing it, I actually have to take the water block up from this side because some of the screws here in front is actually holding the back plate in place. So. Let me flip this card over. Be careful again, on this side here, there are actually wires, wires uh, attached to the PCB, right? So be careful uh, pulling it apart. So, and there are actually thermal pads attached to it. So be very careful. 
and it's quite uh, stiff. So be very, very careful. There you go. All right. Now I'm holding it wrong side up. Okay. And let me see here. Okay. So, here it is. There you go. And some of the pads got uh, misaligned there and some ripped off. So again, be very careful taking it apart. Better yet, better make sure you have uh, extra thermal pads there with you. And I'll be giving you its uh, uh, sizes uh, shortly. This one here is actually stuck in there. Be careful pulling it. All right, there you go. So it's kind of difficult to pry or to pull, huh? So as for the as for the thermal pads uh, with for those who need one, this one is actually one millimeter and i think they're all one millimeters how about this one here one millimeter as well and this part here One millimeter as well. Yeah, they're all one millimeters. Mm, how about this one? One millimeter as well. So the the pads. So that makes it uh, convenient. All of all the pads are one millimeter in uh, width. Or depth so again here's the cleaned up version as best I could and I, I take what I said back earlier with this PC, PCB being very similar to the 3070 well it is very similar but with a uh, few uh, changes or differences one of which or the only thing I could uh, see as a potential problem is are the capacitors this has a, a newer type it's a flat version it's a 100 c11 capacitor and oops there and as you may see the 3070 ones or the 3090 master ones have the round uh, tower like whatever that thing that capacitor is called uh, anyway, this one has a flat type kind and there are five ten, 11 capacitors here and another one here, another group here on the port side. Sevar, honey, he's bumping the camera and yeah. And as a replacement, I used uh, thermal right, one millimeter. Uh, I don't actually know if these pads are good, but they won't be here for too long since I'd be ordering a water block for this card. So there you have it. And I hope me showing the layout design helps someone who's going to be buying a water block and actually check if it's compatible or not. Uh, me personally, the reason I tore it down is to check if it's compatible with the water block designed for Eoris Master or Eoris RTX 3090 Master. And I did ask Bixki if it will be compatible. They said it is. And I pointed out there, there's a difference with the capacitor type, capacitor type. And they said it's fine and it will still fit perfectly. And I also asked them if I could return the item. 
and ask for a refund in the unlikely event that it won't fit and they assured me I can do that as well. So again, uh, PCB layout or design is pretty much similar to the 3090 Master but there's a difference with the capacitor. Alright and I hope you like this video. Again, I really hope this video will help someone. Uh, again, if it did or if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe as well, notification bell to be updated uh, on my future uploads. See you in the next video.